In this video, we will be discussing the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of the Google Pixel phones. Google Pixel is a brand of portable consumer electronic devices developed by Google that run either Chrome OS or the Android operating system. The main line of Pixel products consist of Android-powered smartphones, which have been produced since October 2016 as the replacement of the older Nexus phones. The Pixel brand also includes laptop and tablet computers, as well as several accessories, and was originally introduced in February 2013 with the Chromebook Pixel. Starting with the strengths. Google Pixel strengths include strong brand recognition and reputation, as Google is a well-known and respected brand in the tech industry. For example, Google's brand value saw a steep increase in 2022, valued at 819.57 billion US dollars. Google's is also known for their innovative products, and the Pixel line is known for its high-quality cameras, as well as artificial intelligence features, which differentiate it from other smartphones. For example, Google Pixels have industry-leading cameras, get speedy software, and security updates directly from Google. Google also enjoys strong partnerships with major carriers and retailers globally, allowing them to increase their market reach and availability of their products. Very strong parent company, with its revenue model garnering humongous profits through partnerships with third-party sites allowing their business to support the development of new ventures, as well as sustain existing product lines. Now, let's move on to the weaknesses. Google Pixel weaknesses include limited product offering, as Google's Pixel smartphones don't have as many options in regards to their devices when compared with other major brands. It adversely affects their ability to service the needs of the entire market. From a Google Pixel perspective, there is a heavy dependence on the sale of their smartphone in an ultra-competitive market, as such to diversify this business division. Google Pixel Watch officially hit shelves in October 2022. In regards to the Pixel phones, Google's revenue is partly reliant on the success of its smartphone products, which leaves it vulnerable to changes in the market. Google Pixel has very low market share in the smartphone industry, as the smartphone market is highly competitive, with many other major brands vying for market share. For example, market research firm IDC puts the Pixel's share of the global smartphone market at 0.8% for the third quarter of 2022. Focusing on the U.S. market, where Google has made their largest volume of Pixel sales, and that figure jumps to a still small 5% market share. Another weakness for Google is that it is not compatible with many next-generation computing platforms including mobile and tablet computers, and this remains an area of concern for the company. Next, let's talk about the opportunities. Google Pixel opportunities includes growth in emerging markets, with many emerging markets, such as Brazil and Egypt experiencing rapid growth in smartphone adoption, which provides an opportunity for Google to increase its sales in these regions. For example, the Pixel occupies the mid to high range category, and it might be a tough sell in countries where low-cost phones dominate. However, there is an opportunity to provide a phone at an affordable price point for the mass market that can leverage and make the most of Google's AI and software capabilities. Google can also look at expansion of their existing product categories by expanding its product offerings through further development of smart home devices and other connected products. For example, users can control over 50,000 smart home devices including TVs, lights, appliances, plugs, thermostats, and more when added to the Google Home app. By making some of these products themselves, or buying the business that makes them, Google can open up additional revenue sources. Google can also leverage their global partnerships and find new opportunities for collaborations to expand its reach and offer new products and services. For example, partnering with Audi and Volvo to bring Android-based infotainment systems into their next-generation vehicles. There is a big opportunity for Google to promote their product features better. Google Pixel phones do some very clever things, though the company does not do enough to promote these features. For example, cutting out clutter, Google automatically screens calls from private, unknown, or suspected spam numbers and can also answer and screen any incoming call on demand, which is a massive benefit in today's world. Finally, let's discuss the threats. Economic uncertainty threatens Google's revenue and profits, as Google like most other businesses is facing global economic uncertainty due to knock-on effects of the pandemic. 
Globally, inflation is a very real problem, and while the latest flagship smartphones bring the glitz and glamour, consumers may be tempted to buy a more affordable 5G phone or even hold off on their purchases. Google faces intense global competition to keep its innovation in pace with others. For example, since the first Pixel launched in 2016, the entire series has sold 27.6 million units, according to data by analyst firm IDC, a number that's one-tenth of the 272 million phones Samsung shipped in 2021 alone. Another threat to Google is from the emerging area of mobile computing that threatens to pass the company by, as newer companies seize the opportunity to ramp up their mobile computing presence. Tension with China are also a cause for concern for Google, as Google had planned to provide cloud service in China but was forced to scrap the plan due to rising geopolitical tensions. If the political tensions spread to other regions across the world, it can affect Google's global operations. This concludes our SWOT analysis. Please let us know in the comments if you have any questions about the SWOT analysis for Google Pixel.